Can I say Sarah go and book when I please? Sarah you go welcome to season three. Yeah. yeah, welcome to season three of the converse that me and my childhood friends do every Ramadan. So this is the season three. Season three is up. Season one is not up because well, life change, things change, people change and we gotta take it up. I wasn't able to edit it, so I just left it blocked. So that you can see what we discuss. But anyways, uh these are season three and two of my friends came and so I am glad for that. So what we discuss here, hijab, feminism and feminine energy and what we what we learn in this Ramadan and how it's agreed for us. I can't speak loud because I'm tired. I've been awake since this year. Me that we usually go back to sleep and was awake since this year. But anyways, we catch up, we talk, and I'm so happy. I'm so glad and really alive that this class season three happened. We were supposed to do it yesterday, but I was I was so tired. If I like get up, I just keep like falling back and I was going to work. I was like, you know what? I have to cancel this because if I come up, it's not gonna work. So by Alhamdulillah today it worked out and we did it. So watch and listen. Yeah, I think what we talked about is really interesting. Well interesting to me. So it better be you better be interested. Anyway, it's interesting to me, so hopefully you gain a thing or two there. What do you think about feminine energy? What is it about? What is feminine energy really about? Because I don't understand. I don't understand. I'm like, in this current era where like you say, oh, men want a feminine woman. I'm like, in this era, with price shooting up, and like our world in chaos, and people like suffering, and people in difficult situations, war zones, conflict, hunger, like name it. I think that's enough for us to reflect that. I don't know what this feminine energy is about. I don't know too much about it, but from what I've heard and from what I've seen so far, it doesn't seem like. I don't know, it just doesn't, I don't feel like it suits me, but it doesn't agree with me, I'm not agreeing with it, so we talk about that, and yes, if we bring Islam to it, we bring the Quran to it, what the Quran says about men and women, does the Quran say a feminine man for a feminine woman, or a masculine man for a masculine woman, does it say that, well, find out if it did, Keep watching. You'll find out if you watch it. But anyway, so I'm going to handle that for today. And I think I got to see my friends. So you can see, I, I don't know, I feel like I'm blushing or like I'm smiling more. So go find your friends. Okay. And if you want to watch the weekends, you can subscribe. It's the 29th of Ramadan. So we do back in advance. I don't know if we're going to fast another one more day, but it's going to be at eight tomorrow. But either we eat in back, may Allah bless you, bless your family, guide you, guide your family, and accept the Ramadan from you. Put back in in your efforts, in all our efforts, and have a good day tomorrow or next tomorrow. Have a lovely Eid, Eid Mubarak, Ramadan Mubarak, Eid the Karen, right? Eid the Karen. Okay. It's Aisha. What would you say about like hijab? From what I know, I know it's uh, mandatory, but what would you say about it? Because some people be like, no, I can do what I want, it's my choice, you know, all this kind of stuff. So what would you say about it? It is said in the Quran that mm -hmm. like you should fear Allah. I mean, according to your capability. Yeah. So one thing 
believing in this is the right thing. Another one is being able to do it. Do you yeah. understand? Mm-hmm. So if as a Muslim, we just have to believe that okay, this is the right thing to do. So this is what Allah has commanded us to do. Yeah. Even mm-hmm. though you have not started doing it, or I mean, you don't like you don't you don't you just don't have to to have this kind of mindset like is is not compulsory because it is actually compulsory. Do you understand? Yeah. So and then we'll be trying to who was I mean trying to get better upon it. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah. Although some situations won't allow us to I mean for certain people they might not have the capacity, I mean they um the ability to do it as at a point probably because of their job or because of the environment they find themselves and things like that. So you know those ones you just keep praying to Allah to make it possible for for them and and so on like that. But you also have to have the mindset like this is not right. I can still remember when I was probably secondary school days and I say job I say eh I my bed bag I know where it's up. What do you mean? <laughs> you know what is <laughs> I have this kind of jobs that I wear like yours now that I wear that time like I'm okay like this. I'm praying, I'm fasting. And I, I don't intend, my intention is good. I don't have bad intention against each other and other person and things like that. So I'm fine. I'm okay. <laughs> Although I don't go against those who can do it. I'm, I'm not saying it is not right. But I will say, no, no, for me, I cannot wait. So, and today, <laughs> I have to lie. <laughs> so... And at a point in time, I was saying, when I started wearing the the, uh, the longer one that should get to my navy, I will say, okay, um, this one is looking like this. I cannot wear Kima. <laughs> so, it just got to a point where I started wearing Kima. I say, okay, I have this Kima. <laughs> um, so, I, I just say, just Allah is Rahman anyway. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So, if Allah will, We've been having a good intentions. Um, sometimes Allah, Allah, Allah will make some some things possible that you never imagine. Yes, yes, that's true. So, I can't deny. Being able to do it doesn't mean that you are you are perfect, because there are actually some people actually want to wear the hijab and it's not even possible for them mm-hmm. due to certain conditions they find mm-hmm. themselves. Mm-hmm. Do you understand? Yeah. So what I just want us to, I mean, to be mindful of it, to have good intentions. So this is what Allah says that women should cover themselves and things like that. So that is just we cannot do anything about it. Yeah. And then being able to do it another thing at a time. Mm-hmm. Do you understand? Yeah. I don't know if you get the point. Oh, oh, I do, I do. Like uh, even for me here, so like I know we've brought we've talked about this before, like hijab in the West. Yeah. Is, it, I believe people like it. They like the idea. But it's the Western society, and it's not like the, it's not the norm. It's not well entrenched in the society. So the people that are wearing it, like mm-hmm. they feel of, um, ostracized from the society. They feel, I don't know, somehow they feel strange. You know, even like sometimes mm-hmm. I find myself in that kind of um, mindset. Oh, maybe I should do my hijab this way. Maybe I should just do the turban. You know. <laughs> But I mean, Alhamdulillah, like I, I have that interest, and I want to continue, and I want to get better, better at it. Say, like, if you are living in like a, in a Muslim community, if I'm in Nigeria, I'll probably be like, I don't know, my hijab will probably be bigger, you know, and I don't know. I never say. Yeah, or maybe like I'll be wearing niqab or niqab too. I don't know, but yeah. A lot of factors goes into it, and like I know that sometimes when, especially here, when people are trying to say, "Oh, but the hijab is a, it's a choice," but it's not really a choice. It's um, it's kind of mandatory, and everybody, well, I can do what I want, but of course, like Allah gives um everybody free will to do whatever they want, but at the same time, mm-hmm. you are held accountable to like if you do it it's better for you and if you don't mm. it's a it's a thing people i guess people get caught up in the dichotomy of like oh i want to wear it i don't want to wear it what will people say what would the environment say how would i look you know we get 
caught up in like what other people will say or what other people yeah. are thinking that we don't we don't look at the the goal or like the why we are doing it which is for the religion discipline and for Allah and because Allah asks you to do it so it's um mm. I mean we pray for people that are wearing it to continue wearing it so they inspire the rest of us and we pray mm-hmm. um yeah and we pray for people that are like you know struggling this way to for Allah to guide them basically mm-hmm. So where is Ramat? Ramat. Kilani, where are you? And Ramat. Omo Baba Kilani. Where are you? Okay, let me message her. I don't know, maybe she was saying something about her her phone. Okay. Is she, is she here? She's chatting. No, she's, she chatted now. She said she she connected with audio alone. 